First of all, they are pay homage to all knowing knowledge because Sabe Nyudanyana, that the Buddha. So they are recited that uh, formula, prayer, the Buddha who possess such a Sabe Nyudanyana. So the Buddha knows and then he give Dhamma talk to all living beings according to their spiritual background. Uh, Ajahasaya, they are like and dislike. They are uh, majority of spirituality. Or they are the stages of the perfections. So that's why the Buddha is omniscience knowledge. Omniscience knowledge is uh, very beneficial. So Sierra has been uh, seven yuta jnana or knowing wisdom that you need. So by paying homage to the, that uh, great wisdom, uh, Sierra, all living beings, the meditate here, happiness, and then Sierra continue the Satipatthana, the definition of Satipatthana, the Paliwa, Satipatthana. The yogis who are practicing meditation here, they are follow the Satipatthana method. Here the Paliwa of two parts, Sati and uh, Patthana. Sati is uh, mindfulness, uh, Patthana is uh, uh, well established. So to establish, in, establish, establish in mindfulness or continuous mindfulness is called Sati Patthana. So as you know, there are four kinds of Sati Patthana. The mindfulness established on the body is called mindfulness of body, kaya nupasana satipatthana. And the mindfulness uh, focus on the sensation or feeling is called vedana nupasana satipatthana. The mindfulness established on the thoughts or consciousness is called chaita nupasana satipatthana. And the mindfulness or the general phenomenal involved in sphere interactions like the in hearing, smelling, and uh, uh, touching, and so on. And that's uh, called Dhamma Nupasana Satipatthana. And also these Satipatthana are, are divided into several sections. Kaya Nupasana Satipatthana, mindfulness of body, is expounded by the Buddha uh, in four, 14 sections. And uh, Vedana Nupasana Sthipatthana, mindfulness of feeling or sensation, uh, is explained by the Buddha in nine sections. And uh, Jaita Nupasana Sthipatthana is, and uh, Dhamma Nupasana Sthipatthana, uh, five sections. All together, 21 sections. So very wide spread, very profound, and uh, teaching. So here, Sierra would like to explain the how to practice vipassana meditation uh, from a uh, practical point of view out of these 21 sections. So here, yogis are practicing meditation with a great effort day and night, uh, starting from the 3 p.m. to uh, 10, uh, 3 a.m. to 10 p.m for the whole day, developing continuous mindfulness. That's uh, all about the four kinds of the mindfulness. So there are great amount of benefits we can gain from development of the mindfulness. Now, Sierra would like to continue the benefits of mindfulness we can gain from. So the Buddha himself expounded benefits of Satipatthana meditation practice. Yogi here uh, every day uh, recites or do chanting in Pali, like Ikayano, Ayam Bekawe, Mago, Sadana, Visodhya, Soka Bidewana, Samadegamaya, and so on. It is uh, like the advertising, uh, enticing, like the the companies, uh, the, uh, the the they launch their products to the market. 
and then they make the ads advertisement and then so that the the market uh, become the profitable so in the same way the buddha also he advertised or enticed his uh, products the best products on this universe so the buddha may be regarded as a someone who possesses the the best uh, company uh, on earth so he also like any other the company in the world he also announced the the how good his uh, product is so so he explain what kind of benefit what kind of benefits we can gain from the satipatthana meditation practice uh, first of all or uh, the first benefit is uh, to purify our mind or the mental defilements so because of these mental defilements we all gain this kind of mortal physical body and uh, which is subject to old age sickness and death and uh, also many other kinds of the unpleasant experiences like the uh, we dissociate with the beloved and uh, or we we happen to dissociate from the beloved and now uh, we happen to associate we have to associate with the someone we hate and now uh, we cannot get what we want something like this there are many kind of kind of the suffering and uh, stress so these all sufferings take place out of the mental defilements so mental defilements are wholly responsible for all sort of uh, suffering we encounter so th- this is also these uh, mental defilements that make us going around and around the sansara torture sanke of birth and death and also each and every life we encounter several kinds of danger and disasters like the flood and storm and uh, and so on so many danger and disaster uh, we encounter on earth so these are all uh, contributed to mental defilements like loba dosa and moha so we get this uh, mortal physical body that is subject to old age sickness and death and uh, so we inevitably encounter several kinds of danger and uh, disasters and uh, stress so these mental defilements include uh, basically loba dosa and uh, moha three uh, unwholesome negative or poisonous mental states loba is a uh, greed or lust or selfishness or dosa anger hatred impatience and uh, moha delusion ignorance so these three are basic uh, mental defilements and also there are ten kinds of mental defilements a little bit uh, wider perspective and now uh, 1500 kinds of mental defilements uh, so there are many kinds of mental defilements so basically three kinds so these are all mental defilements they are responsible for all kinds of suffering we encounter uh, in the life so we need to purify our mind or those mental defilements so satipatthana meditation the establishment of the mindfulness is uh, the best remedy to purify or to overcome these kinds of mental defilements or to purify ourselves of all kinds of mental defilements so that is uh, the first benefits we can gain from satipatthana meditation uh, so that's uh, the announcement that the buddha made regarding his uh, the best product satipatthana so to purify ourselves or the mental defilements the satipatthana meditation is uh, the only way 
all the Buddhas in previous times. And then our current Buddha, the historical Buddha, Gautama Buddha, also practiced Satipatthana meditation. And then he attained the enlightenment experience Nibbana. And then in the future, there are also Buddhas to be, like a Rimidya Buddha. They will also practice the same Satipatthana meditation so that they will all become fully enlightened. So in the past, in the, in the present, or in the future, all Buddha, uh, Bajika Buddha, or noble people, they all practice the same method that we, as we are practicing. By practicing this same method, they all purify themselves from mental defilements, and then they become fully enlightened, and it's the ultimate or Nibbana. During the uh, Gautama Buddha time, our Buddha's time, there were countless number of the people uh, became fully enlightened. According to the uh, Pali text, so for the 24 eons of the people and as hundred thousands of the um, people. So many people were fully enlightened during our Buddha times alone. So they all practice this Satipatthana meditation. So the second benefit in Pali, it is said, Soka Pridevana Samadhi Gamaya. So the first benefit is, uh, as just mentioned, to overcome mental defilements, three kinds of mental defilements, or ten kinds of mental defilements, or uh, one hundred. Uh, 50, 100 mental defilements. So that's uh, the first benefit. The second benefit is Soga Bidi Wana Samadhi Gamaya to overcome worry and uh, anxiety. We human beings are worried about so many things. We worry about our son, our daughter, and our business, and the job, and the social life. So many things uh, for us to worry about. So to overcome the worry, the Satipatthana meditation is the best way. And then also sometimes worry uh, become extremely strong and uh, we even cry uh, with a loud voice. So that's what we call Paritiwa. Through the mindfulness, we can overcome these kinds of the the worry and anxiety and pridewa and so on. And uh, in the, during the Buddha time, Patasari, uh, she was uh, really affected by the worry. She gone into mad because of the worry. And uh, she was so mad that she could not even wear her dress properly. And uh, she went around, she went about and naked. <coughs> so luckily, uh, she met the Buddha and uh, learned how to develop mindfulness. Thanks to mindfulness, she overcome worry, and then uh, finally she became fully enlightened at heart. And then uh, she even, she was even honored as a, the, the foremost among the Bhikkhuni, uh, who, who, are, who are very well versed in the monastic rules and uh, regulation. So these are all <coughs> just uh, examples that can help us to overcome worry. So <coughs> the third benefit is uh, to overcome mental and uh, physical distress or mental and uh, physical suffering. So through the mindfulness, we can overcome mental and uh, physical distress. So during the Buddha time, one of the monks accomplished Satipatthana meditation by uh, breaking his legs. And uh, he focused on the pain and uh, developed mindfulness until he became fully enlightened. And another monk, uh, he was uh, in the mouth of a tiger in the forest, so he keep on developing mindfulness, and uh, he, the tiger 
the, he uh, bite in his uh, in his legs, and then he he practice satipatthana meditation, focusing on the pain, and then he became he attained the the first state of enlightenment, and uh, that tiger keep on eating his body, lower part of body, and uh, he uh, successively attained the the second stage of enlightenment, and uh, the third stage of enlightenment, and the fourth stage of enlightenment, and uh, he became fully enlightened uh, as soon as he uh, uh, he he was uh, eaten the whole body by the tiger. So, in this way. These kind of the heroic uh, meditator overcome the mental and the physical distress, even though they are in face of the such a uh, horrible suffering. So, keeping these events, incidents in your mind, please practice meditation, satipatthana meditation, with a great effort and uh, with a full faith. The sixth benefit is uh, Nyayasa Adhikamaya, to attain the Mega Phala Enlightenment. There are four kinds of, four stages of Mega Enlightenment Sotapati Mega, uh, Sakaragami Mega, Anagami Mega, and Arhata Mega. And also, there are uh, uh, subsequent enlightenment known as Phala. Uh, Sodabadi Phala, Sakaragami Phala, and so. so the mega enlightenment always immediately accompanied by the Phala enlightenment. So there is uh, no gap in between. Uh, that's why uh, it is said Akali Go, immediate benefits. So mega enlightenment always bring about immediately <coughs> the Phala benefit, Phala enlightenment. So it is through the mindfulness that we can gain Mega Phala enlightenment. <clears throat> so the, the last benefit we can gain from the Sthipatthana meditation is Nibbana uh, So to experience ultimate peacefulness of Nibbana. So it is uh, the only way that w- to experience the ultimate peacefulness of Nibbana is a mindfulness, development of mindfulness. Through the development of mindfulness, we can attain the ultimate peacefulness of Nibbana. It is impossible to attain or to experience Nibbana just by wishing. Or may I attain Nibbana as soon as possible? We normally wish every day. But just uh, wishing alone, inspiration alone, uh, cannot bring about the Nibbana, cannot lead us to the Nibbana. So it is through only, only through the mindfulness can we attain, can we achieve, or can we experience ultimate peacefulness or Nibbana. So this uh, development of mindfulness is uh, very important. Uh, the most important in our life because we ourselves have to practice. Nobody on our behalf can do it. And uh, we have to do it in time before too late. In a timely manner, we have to practice Sripatthana meditation. And uh, also, there is a great amount of benefits from this Sripatthana meditation practice. So this practice is... uh, uh, the most important things in life for us to do. So please make great effort, put great effort in this Satipatthana meditation practice. So there are <coughs> countless uh, benefits actually can be available from Satipatthana meditation. So even the Trisana uh, animal can gain from the Satipatthana uh, meditation. So he has here uh, uh, recounted as Sri Lanka. Uh, in old days, so there are people, trader, they are carrying their goods <coughs> from one state to another. <coughs> they use <coughs> they use the bullock cart. 
So uh, roads are very poor and uh, bumpy. Uh, Sometimes a lot, a lot of mud and uh, muddy. So the the bull, uh, they were sometimes very struggle out of the mud. In this spot, uh, the bullock cart uh, sunk into the mud. So the the trader, he encouraged the the bull, "Oh my son, please, be try your best to get out of the mud. This will be the last time. I won't ask you any more to do such a horrible things." So please try your best to get out of the mud. Then the the bull, it tried its best, and then finally got out of the mud. And but the road is uh, all the way very bad and uh, poor and uh, bumpy, a lot of mud. Oh, several times the the bullock cart got into the into the mud, and in this way. This uh, the bull trying its best to get out of the mud. Finally, the the bull become weaker and weaker. And uh, the time when the time passed by, uh, the bull become older, became older and older and weaker and weaker. Is no longer carry out such a heavy duty. So finally, uh, the the bull lying down on that very spot, it cannot move any further. And then the trader left it alone on the way. So there are many people. There were many people around who have no compassion. So they came came in and uh, they take uh, the skin out of the 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 bull body and uh, some. Uh, cut off the meat. Uh, some take the sinew to use as a, the string for the musical instrument, and so on. And also many other the wild animal like the dogs and uh, uh, many other animal they come and uh, eat uh, the flesh or the the poor uh, bull. So nobody care about it. But uh, finally, luckily, the the monk called Jula Pinapadika Tesa, he saw the bull. Nobody cared about it, so he was so compassionate to the bull. So he <coughs> he gave the water to the bull, and also he recite. He do he did chanting or the Satipatthana Sutra. Bind the bull, so bull. Of course, he didn't understand what the Satipatthana Sutra means, what the man chanting is. He didn't understand, but uh, he felt he touched by the loving kindness of the monks and uh, by the recitation of the Satipatthana Sutra. So the bull very happy and uh, pay attention to the monks. Kind and sweet chanting, and finally, the bull died and uh, was reborn in a heavenly state. A lot of the beautiful angel around, and uh, he, in, t- in retrospect, he consider uh, who am I, why I was here. And then he realized, oh, this is, this is uh, the Jula Pena Padika Tesa, the monk, <coughs> who who did very kind uh, work to me, and uh, he did chanting or Sadipatana Sutra. So paying attention <coughs> to the Sadipatana Sutra, I was reborn in such a heavenly state. So he greatly be thankful to the venerable Jula Pena Patika Tesa. So he came down to the human human realm along with the beautiful angels, and uh, he paid a venerable monks. And a venerable monk asks, "You are," and then he explained who he is. 
So why he became such a powerful and uh, heavenly uh, angel? And then he said he made a humble request, Venerable Sir, because of your uh, chanting of Satipatthana Sutra, I was reborn as a as an angel. So now I would like to listen again the Satipatthana Sutra. I would like to follow the method of Satipatthana meditation. Then the Venerable Jula Paina Patika Taisa expounded Satipatthana meditation and uh, by chanting Satipatthana Sutra. So according to the story, the, the angel and uh, his all beautiful uh, ladies are uh, all attain the first stage of enlightenment, Sota Pati Mega. So in view of these stories, it is uh, reasonable to say that even the Trisana uh, animal can gain the benefits of the Satipatthana Sutra. So keeping these incidents in your mind, please try your best to develop mindfulness. So in conclusion, Siaro just uh, mentioned for, for noble truth. So the psychophysical phenomena, mind and body, subject to old age, sickness and death, are uh, uh, just suffering, uh, the truth of suffering. And uh, the attachment to such psychophysical phenomena or mind and body is uh, the cause of suffering. And a cessation or attachment is uh, ultimate peacefulness or nibbana. And as a Dibhatana practice is the path that leads to the Nibbana. So uh, by developing Satipatthana mindfulness, may you all be able to overcome all kinds of the suffering. May you all be overcome the attachment and experience Nibbana. And so 